RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Holly, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Holly. Now, folks, in just a few minutes, we're going to be on the air, and uh, we're going to just uh, taking our last-minute checks now, and uh, when we're on the air, uh, and our star comes out uh, tonight, uh, Mr. Robert Q. Kukla, I want you all to greet him with a big burst of applause so that the people uh, at home uh, will join in the enthusiastic uh, uh, feeling and greeting for him. Now, the, I will lead you in the applause. Let's just, uh, let's just practice this now. This is what we call, how, how many seconds we got? Mm. Just have a few minutes. Uh, now, I'll lead you in the applause here. Now, uh, members of the crew, since our audience didn't quite fill up tonight, I hope that members of the crew will join in mm -hmm. too. I wonder, Jack, did you give all your tickets out? Yes, I did. Didn't have much luck last time. Thought you, you were still working on the raffle. Fran, how about your tickets? They're gone. Uh, where are your relatives? They didn't show up. <laughs> My relatives? Mm-hmm. I don't see them in the audience. Well, anyway, we'll do our best. Now, Linwood and all of you, I want you to fill in as hard as you can. Stamp with your feet if you don't have, can't make enough noise with your hands. All right, now, let's just practice. Now, we'll just pretend that Mr. Robert Q. Kukla is coming in. Now, we're going to give him a big hand. Now, let's try it now. Here. That's what we're going to Oh, now, Jim, you stay on the camera. We can't afford to have you uh, clapping your hands. It vibrates the zoom off. I hope that now, uh, all you folks, usually I tell a few little jokes here to warm people up, but I don't have much time tonight. We are going to get on with our talent show, which I think you're going to enjoy very much. As you know, uh, many uh, shows uh, all over the country now are doing talent. There, there are amateur shows, and there are uh, talent scouts, and there are uh, talent auditions, and talent buyers. We are going to try, uh, we feel that... Uh, here, I'm sure you, you know that uh, uh, we have quite a good deal of talent here at the Kukupalton Playhouse, and we feel that there are people in the country who would be willing to book some of us into d different uh, parts of the country and different hotel rooms and nightclubs and vaudeville and that sort of thing. <coughs> so uh, that is for the purpose of uh, how many minutes we got? Mm -hmm. Well, that is the purpose of our... Uh, uh, don't rush me. My dear, you look awful silly in those earphones. <coughs> that is the purpose of our little... Uh, uh, business tonight, and I hope that you're going to enjoy meeting the different talent buyers which have whom whom have come who have come from all over the country to to see the talent that uh, uh, Mr. Kukla has uh, uh, brought and picked handpicked I might say yes handpicked himself to audition for these various prospective uh, buyers. <coughs> now uh, you sure you have all your cues right up there? And uh, how's our time, Linwood? Any moment now, mm -hmm. Colonel. Jack, you're ready with the theme, aren't you? No, Mm-hmm. Hold on now, everybody. Give me the cue, Will. Then would you give me the, the Five down. seconds. Five seconds. No. Oh. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Keep it up, Will. that we've got any great big fancy establishment because uh, we ain't 
Uh, it's, we're running it on a modest scale. Mm -hmm. We started out uh, with, a, you might li uh, say, a kind of a diner like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said to the missus, I says, I think there's business to be had here. So I, I says to her, is it all right with you if I knock out this one side of the diner and put in some extra seats? And she said it was all right with her, so I went ahead and done it. And uh, so far, uh, we haven't had much trade. Mm -hmm. Now, we think that the reason for that is that we haven't got any kind of entertainment to offer. Well, that's fine. That's why you came here to this that's program, isn't it, Mr. Here. Schlupp? <laughs> and uh, I said that we couldn't afford much, but you haven't had much here either lately. <laughs> so I said, I think that's the fella to go and see. Yes, Mr. Schlupp. Well, uh, now, uh, I want as much entertainment as I can get for the money. Well, I, 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 when you sent in your letter, I knew that you wanted to get a budget uh, kind of floor show, and we have a young lady that I know is going to do exactly that for you. You ain't got a young fella, have you? I don't know if the missus would care to have a other woman around the establishment. Well, I'd like you to see this and see if you could use her, because she is a very versatile young lady. She's played in many places uh, all over the country. She's done some very fine uh, jobs, her last job. She played uh, a split week between Denver, Colorado, and Cleveland, Ohio. And, uh... Well, that's quite a split right there, I'd say. Well, she dances and she sings, and she's also plays instrumental. Well, that's what I want. Well, that's what I thought you'd like. So, if well, you'll go over there and take a seat, Mr. Schluff, and, and just take a look at this girl that we have, I think you're really going to enjoy well, her. thank birthday. you. Let me tell you, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, certainly it's been a pleasure to have you. And so now, our spotlight's going to turn on... Uh, a young lady from the island, Nantuck, huh? no, excuse me, from the South Sea Island, who's got a lovely number for you. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Little Grass Shack. <laughs> Hello, up. Huh? Give me A, please.
Mr. Schlump! Leonard, have you seen Mr. Schlump? He just left, Bob. Well, I suppose he's running right out to sign into a contract. Well, uh, well, we're very happy that Mr. Schlump uh, found his answer in our uh, wonderful Miss Little Grass Shack. And now we'd like to introduce to you our next talent buyer, and, and uh, she's right here. Will you step off it? Would you help her up a little bit, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? And what is your name, please? My name is uh, Mrs. Summy. Oh? And I must say, I am surprised at you, Mr. Lewis. I had always thought that you were a little older man. Cool I've been led to believe that you had much heavier eyebrows. <laughs> well, see, it's my... They're on crooked tonight. I see. Well, now, I won't take up much of your time, and you're awfully nice to give me this much. But what I wanted to ask was, us girls at home... Where are you from, Mrs. Uh, I'm from Connecticut. From Connecticut. What's I your name again? Uh, what did I tell you it was? <laughs> I can't remember all these things. Uh, I was about to tell you, though, that we have a little club there. It's called the Whist, the Pinochle, and the Euchre Club. <laughs> and uh, we decided that uh, we would go all out and have a party. And uh, I just wondered what you might have in the way of entertainment. Well, Now, I'm we've had, oh, I'm so sick and tired of hearing them people sing at home that I just thought maybe you might have somebody new. Well, we... we and I don't want the old-fashioned. Just because uh, we have snow on the roof, there's fire in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to have something of a very gay nature. Well, uh, I'm sure that um, there's a young lady that... Um, well, I tell you what, this is... Um... Never mind. You were old friends by now. <coughs> Call me Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ken... Uh, there is a young lady that I think that would just fill the bill. She, she's got a wonderful act, and she's new. i tell you what you do. You just go over there, Lynn would help her down the stairs, will you? I will. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, and thanks so much. And, and you just watch this act, because this lady is a really fine, fine girl. She's a, a young girl that I found uh, during one of my... Excuse me. Oh, there's a camera! Oh, great. Ah, uh, she's a young lady that I found during uh, one of my travels when I was out looking for talent. Jack and I together, we, we, we found her, we, we spotted her. Uh, it was a little uh, vaudeville show. Well, it wasn't a vaudeville show, it was a circus. And she was doing a little number there that we thought was so wonderful. She was doing it with a kazoo. But at the time, we thought, well, she really must be able to sing better than that. And so Jack tried her out. And we discovered that she had a truly remarkable voice and a truly great style. She's up to date, something really fine. And I think that this sweet little old lady from Connecticut is going to enjoy this young girl who has a fresh, wonderful, sweet, and appealing style. And I'd like to introduce to you now that lovely little lady of song. What's your name, dear? Just call me Kid. <laughs> Kid, give her a big hand, shall we? <laughs> Bill and Coo, so that's my 
And where's that sweet little old lady who was here? She, I, how did you like that? Us girls would rather play euchre. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I'm sure we can find another booking for us somewhere. Tootle, 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 tootle. No, Cecil, Bill, we're just we're playing. Tootle, 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 tootle. No, 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 he's not really here. I'm just pretending I'm Robert Keith. We're having a talent show. It was friends. No, 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 we're just playing. We're, ha we're, we're having talent auditions. It's all right. He's worried. Well, sir, ha <laughs> ha, this is a great, great day for me. You know, every week we try to find um, some young talent that uh, hasn't appeared before in the television, and we bring them uh, to you here on your television screen. And uh, not for any particular talent buyer, but for uh, the, the, the general public and for you uh, producers and directors out there in the audience who might like some fresh and wonderful talent. And today we have a wonderful fellow. I want to bring him in now. I found him out west. He was out west in Elmhurst, Illinois, when I discovered him. And he was doing a wonderful act out there, and I persuaded him to come down here because I think he's got a really great big talent, and I think that I think that he should go far. I want to bring him in now and let him tell you a little something about himself. So at this time, I'd like to bring to you that wonderful guy, Cowboy Oliver Dragon. Come on, Cowboys, give him a big hand, shall we? <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Certainly nice to see all you Wranglers. <laughs> What's Wrangler mean? Never mind, I don't know myself. It's certainly great to be here, Bobsy, and I want you to know that I appreciate this great honor which you have bestowed upon me. And, uh, uh... Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Just where were you born? Out yonder. Where about? Out yonder. Where's that? Vermont. No, no, no. Oh, out on the Lone Prairie. Oh, out where the buffalo roams. That's where I was born. And it is in my blood. I, I was, uh, I was raised on, uh, uh, corn cone and cactus. No, no, it's a different... Oh, never mind. Tell us about your act. Well, sir, I have always liked to listen to the phonograph. As a very small uh, wrangler. What? Puncher. You a fighter? No, cow puncher. Oh. As a very small cow puncher, uh, I was a calf puncher in those days. Ah! <laughs> you told me. Go ahead. I used to listen to the Victrola, and I used to love to listen to records and act them out because I always had great ambitions not to always remain a cowboy, but to get out there on the uh, range, uh, that is the stage, partner, and do some real wonderful imitations. So I used to listen to a lot of uh, RCA Victor records all the time. And just recently, uh, I acquired a little 45 RCA Victor record playing attachment, which I uh, plugged into my radio, and I also have a 78 player, and uh, so I, I get them of both sizes. However, this the particular number that I'm going to do today is a pantomime to an RCA Victor recording. Now, which would you like to hear? I've got music fun with Spike Jones, the man on the flying trapeze, uh, arranged by Doodles Weaver and Spike Jones, or I've got the blowing bubble go uh, gum with Spike Jones and the city slickers, and then I happen to have some very fine uh, <laughs> things by Texas Jim Robertson. I think that would be fun. Okay, I play all the parts. Okay, go to it. Okay, you put the record on for me. I will. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. This is Texas Jim Robinson <laughs> and Little Nipper inviting you to join the fun. What kind of fun? Why, cowboy fun. Right, Nipper? <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, put on your 10-gallon hats, buckle on your six shooters, and saddle up your ponies, because we're heading west out to the open range that's my home. Give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is 
paper, a discouraging word, and the sky is not cloudy all day. All you cow folks, hop out of bed, because we got a mighty busy day ahead of us. Right, Nipper? We're up in the morning, near breaking of day, and the chuck wagon busy with flapjacks and clay. The herd is a stare over hillside and vale, with the night riders crowding them on to the trail. Come browse out your steers from the long chaparral. Jack! Take off my mustache! The railroad corral. No, take it! He broke up my axe! Mm -hmm. uh, I can't undo, undo! Well, ha! Huh, that was a... That was a... Cowboy Oliver Dragon, and that was just great! We certainly enjoyed him, didn't we? Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on, Ollie. Take a bow. I won't. I've ruined it all. Oh. Oh, what did you leave by here? Oh, this is Cowboy Fun. That, that's where he got his record. Little R.C. Victor's recording of Cowboy Fun. That's wonderful. Little Nipper series. I like your invitation, Little Nipper. Oof, oof. Well, sir. Uh -huh. Now we have some more talent, some more talent buyers. And here's one coming right up here now. Would you step up this way, please? Thank you. Well, I... Oh, Miss Allison, I recognize you. Well, I'm representing a group of the girls in my sorority. I see. And we're having a party this spring. I see. And we'd like to have a, well, a romantic young baritone is what we had in mind. Oh, I see. Now, maybe you could tell me we don't have a lot to spend, but uh, we would like to have somebody quite representative. Well, I tell you, we have a very fine bass baritone with us. Uh... He just happened, I, I discovered him not so long ago when I was making a tour of the South. I see. I, I was going through Louisiana, one of the Louisiana swamps. Mm -hmm. And I heard this golden voice coming out. And I looked through the uh, hanging moss, and there, uh, uh, going across the water, was... Nature boy. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Well, that's, that would be wonderful. We'd love something like that. Well, if you'll go over and sit down, I think you'll enjoy him very much. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Nice girl. And now, I'd like to introduce to you that boy from the swamp lands, Richard. <laughs> Glory. Well, sir, that's it. 
Daddy was a fine baritone. Did you like that? And, uh, and a surprise twist. <laughs> Uh, that is certainly a surprise twist, indeed. <laughs> well, now we have a young man who is a, a very interested, I know, and I'd like him to come up here now, Mr. Fletcher Rabbit. How do you do? Certainly glad to make your acquaintance. Well, I um, am program <laughs> chairman for the Rabbit Committee uh, for the Rabbit Convention uh, this spring, and we are looking for some sweet, old-fashioned type girl to sing a very lovely uh, set of ballads. Well, I think we have just the person that, that might do for you. She's a lovely girl that I discovered uh, singing in uh, some very sweet uh, ice cream social. Oh, well, sir, that is exactly the type of act that I would like to have. Where shall I go? Well, you can sit here right beside me if you like. Uh, would you step in, my dear, and let's have a spotlight turn on on my latest discovery. <laughs> It isn't so. It isn't so. Everyone is saying you don't love me, darling. Say it isn't so. Everywhere I go, everyone I know. Whispers that you're going down of me. Oh, say it again. She frightens me. People say that you are somebody. And it won't be long before you leave me. Say it isn't so. No. Say that everything is still okay. That's all I want to know. <laughs> and what I say, say it isn't so. You'll pardon me while I ring my chime. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That couldn't have been Tallulah. She... Just you go and think it over. Oh, gracious. Wait till the rabbit convention hears about this. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, sir, I guess that's about all we can say today. Um, you... Mm-hmm. Fran, are you still there? Yes. Would you like to close the show with me? I'd love to. Well, I'm going to say the first part. Well, you start. Remember, for the best... In recorded music, it's RCA Victor. <laughs> you all know a little nipper, don't you? Of course you do. He's the RCA Victor pup that brings you so much fun on records. Fun on Old MacDonald's Farm, a wonderful story, and nine funny songs with all the barnyard chiming in. Cowboy fun. This one takes you galloping out west with a roundup of real cowboy songs. Music fun with Spike Jones. Yes, it's that funniest fellow of all with a song about the man on the flying trapeze. You'll find all these Little Nipper Junior records at your record store and eight others like these on 45. They're easiest and most fun to play. Or on regular 78 RPM records, non-breakable, of course. Meet all of Little Nipper's friends on RCA Victor Records. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary, the director, Louis Gomovitz, and the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Ostrom. Madam, pour vous. <laughs> NBC Television. 